I'm Hannah Fox. I'm the co-artistic director and CEO of Rising. It's a festival of contemporary art, music, dance, uh, and it's really taking over the, the whole city. We're really interested in bringing art into civic spaces. In the Flinders Street Station, we've got Shadow Spirit, which is an incredible exhibition taking over 18 rooms uh, in the top level of the train station, which is a site rarely seen by the public. There are over 30 Aboriginal artists and collectives as part of this exhibition. Um, and we have Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists from across Australia. They have worked across all different mediums and it was really important part of the development of this show that we provided artists with the opportunity to expand their practice and move into other spaces and that includes uh, digital art. Across the festival we're using a very large number and range of Panasonic projectors. If we think about Shadow Spirit, each of the works is quite individual and they have uh, mapping demands from uh, unusual objects in the case of Molka, and that's a very specific mapping challenge. In other rooms, it's simply the shape of the room where they wanted to get on the roof, the walls and the floor, um, and the, there's a combination of projectors and in particular specialised lenses to make that go. I think with the use of digital technology um, in contemporary art, it, it expands you know, the experience for the visitor. I'm really excited about Shadow Spirit and the way in which the artists have really embraced this technology and it's taken their practice and it's taken their work to a whole new level. In the cathedral across the road, we've got Wu Sang and Beverly Glen Copeland's Anthem, uh, which is a gargantuan video work, and it's projected on a kind of godlike scale inside a cathedral. It's an image 18 metres high and only six metres wide. There are two uh, RZ 24K projectors, the brand new 20,000 lumen. Uh, they are awesome, they are stitched together vertically to produce that fabulous result. With Euphoria, this is a quite extraordinary work that's an immersive film experience, continuous film that runs an hour and 55 minutes. Audiences can come into the town hall where it's set, um, lay down or walk around and experience this film all around them. So it has this real sense of liveness even though it's a pre-recorded piece. It has the choir screens across the bottom which are uh, 18 projectors stitched together uh, with very short throw lenses. Above that there are five drummer screens that surround the uh, audience which come into play at various stages and the major screen where the primary film is shown uh, which is 14 metres wide uh, that's a very large cinema screen and the fidelity of the colour is really, really terrific. Across the three major works of Euphoria, Anthem and Shadow Spirit, there are approximately 56 projectors. So you've got three different artworks or locations for artworks, all different requirements, but all covered by Panasonic and all with 100% reliability. All of them produce fabulous colours. They have the lens range and, and flexibility that we need to produce those results. Panasonic have been incredible in, in not just providing us with the gear, um, but also understanding what's required um, and helping us uh, with responding to artists and what their needs are to make a work happen. Um, and the ultimate effect from an audience perspective is they're not thinking about where the video begins and ends or where the projector's sitting because they're in it. And that, that is the, the dream result from my perspective and I would hope Panasonic's too.